I don't know what got caught on camera, but like, I gave it a little push, and then it just like, went back on its own. The GAN 14 has everything you could possibly want in a modern speed cube. Ridiculous corner cutting, magnets upon magnets, nearly zero friction thanks to literal levitation. But all this raises a new question. Is it possible to have too much of a good thing? I got it, the GAN 14. And I'm super excited. Did they need to make this? And do you need to buy this? And most importantly, does the world's biggest GAN fanboy, Ting Man, is he going to use this as his main cube from now on? And one thing that I want to do with this cube that I've never done in a GAN review before is actually use it in a competition, like right away, and tell you what it's like. Because coincidentally, I have a comp tomorrow. Let's find out. Here it is in a very new box. In fact, can I quickly show you the evolution of the boxes? Because as you know, I don't know, here's something I prepared earlier. <laughs> this was the 11, released in September 2020. Uh, the 12, released in September 2021. The 13, released in September 2022. Literally, when the iPhone gets released as well. You know what you're trying to do again. And here's the 14. Uh, there's no, like, shininess this time. I mean, like, there was a little bit of, like, silver trim on, like, the 13. The 12 was probably the prettiest box of all. What the 14 brings is this. It's got this extra thingy. So you pull it and there you go. Oh, yes. Again, credit card, because we need this. All of this stuff, by the way, is from the video where I reviewed every single GAN cube you can currently buy. You can currently get the 11 for $45, you can get the 12 for 70, and you can get the 13 for 84. And how much is the 14 going for? Well, it's currently on sale, but the standard version of the 14 is currently going for about $80, US, by the way. Uh, and the UV version, which is what I have today, is 85. And I think it's even more, like 88 or 90 or something, like when it's on a sale. We literally haven't even seen the cube yet. So, okay, this is familiar. Oh wait, this isn't familiar. This is weird thing at the bottom. So we've got that for the box. And then there's this. Accessories, I am guessing. Let's first see what comes in the accessory box. We have got, this. oh, that's right. People have been calling this a fire hydrant and it's so cute. It looks like a guy. Hi everyone. I love you. Okay, sorry. And what else do we have? There should be a cube bag in there. Yes, there is. I believe that's the same one as the 13, so nothing new there. And then some tutorials. Oh, yep, how to use it. And then that's right, they always include like a CFOP tutorial. And it's time for the cube. So I think I think you just normally just press the GAN logo and... <laughs> yep, there it is. There's a 14, everyone. It feels heavy. Oh my goodness. Can you see how it automatically aligns? Okay. So first impressions is I'm kind of impressed by that. Every single turn I'm making, it just like instantly like lines up and, and they all do that. But there's something about this one that's just doing it even better. It's sort of like overshoots and then like instantly corrects. Yeah, wow. Oh, whoa. Okay, that is new, that is new. Look at that. I think those are adjustable edge core magnets because you've also got adjustments there. Okay, we need to see what's underneath the box. So if you open that, you get this, whoa, that's so interesting. Okay, so that's the adjustment tool. It's the SIM um, card tray ejector. I'm just kidding. These must be the additional like corner like magnets that you can replace, which we saw in the 13 as well. So what's new in the 14 that the 13 doesn't have? The 14 has more variables. <laughs> It's sort of like, imagine you get a chair that has like three settings that your back can click to. So it's like, do, 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 which is great. You have like three ways you can adjust your comfort. And so what Gan did was like, hey, would you like 10 levels of adjustment? Like what if you could go like click, 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 click to like all these different ones so that you can find the exact, exact angle at which your back is going to be comfortable. <sighs> and so they did it. And if you do the maths, according to them, it's 1,296. 1,296 possible combinations of all of their, their different settings. Nice. There are three settings that you can set the edge magnets to. There should be six over here. Though I've heard it's 12. I don't understand. Maybe I'm missing. There's six here, I think. Those numbers are so hard to read. I know I'm getting old, but like, I don't know. They used to be easy. I do think that GAN can do something about like making them just a bit easier. So that's six, right? So six is the strongest magnet setting. So this is currently on six. It's just, that's the strongest magnet setting. Yo, look at that. This thing is like helicoptering. Helicopter, helicopter. 
Let's adjust it all to one so we can see what the weakest would look like. Ow, that hurts. Oh, boy, it's going to take a while. Can I go the other way? Nope, you can't. You can only go in one direction. A few minutes later. <sighs> I'm so tired. I literally just adjusted like four magnets. Which, by the way, if you want to adjust all of those settings, you actually need to do 12, if I'm not wrong. Okay, a lot, a lot more than that. So this is what one feels like. Okay, and this is what six feels like. Yo, that literally feels exactly the same. The fact that I can't really feel the difference, I think says something. I just can't, I can't feel the difference between like, uh. Okay, I realize I'm coming across a little bit negatively here. I still really like the cube. I'm just not really sold on the whole like adjustment thing that I should be paying so much money for. Anyway, let's take this cube apart because there is a lot of magic that's happening um, under the hood. There you go. So you can see it there, right? That's a magnetic core that they make a really big deal about. Look how many magnets are there. It's insane. So those corner magnets, and there's eight of them that come out from the very middle, they serve two purposes. One, as corners move around, as corner pieces move around, that little magnet over there is attracted to that. And so it naturally, can you see that? It naturally just like falls into place. This is actually a really good way to demonstrate it. This piece doesn't have any of the other three side pieces to stabilize it. And in a lot of cubes, I mean, when magnets were first introduced, they were piece to piece magnets. So as you can see, ta-da, the pieces just hold onto each other and that's what provides the stability laterally. But this piece now has an additional thing that's holding it and it's, it's that magnet that's there. That's actually super strong. And the second purpose that those magnets uh, play is that when these edge pieces slide across, so it starts like over here, right? And when this layer gets um, slid across over there, this repels that. So can I, yeah, I can feel that. <laughs> I'm trying to like put it like next to each other and it just, it doesn't like it. It's like, it's just popping it off. And what that means is that as this goes across, like I said, it resists being at 45 degrees. It does not like being at that angle. And so it will push it like across or it'll push it back depending on like how much pressure um, that you apply to the layer. It's really clever. And then I believe these little blue guys are, oh, do you use this? It is. Yes, yes, fire hydrant to the rescue. So I believe that you can turn this. Uh-oh, am I breaking it? Yeah, no, that's adjusting. Oh, I took it out. Uh, okay. Oh, oh, it's stuck. Oh no, I broke it. Oh no. Oh, phew. So I should be able to swap it out for this blue stalk and put it back in. Wanna see a magic trick? Hey, look at that. I can do magic. <laughs> Sorry about that. So to put it back, I believe you put it in and twist it and then... Yeah, and now it's in. Not gonna lie, it's kind of fun to play around with all these things. According to Gan, every single piece was improved. So even these designs over here, the angles, the distances, the materials, like everything has been upgraded in the last 12 months since we saw the Gan 13. And you know what? I believe them. I actually think that it's better. But better than what? I think that's a million dollar question. The 11 that came out in 2020 dominated the market for it ages the 12 was really good as well but the 13 <laughs> that had a very very slow uptake there's still a lot of like really really fast speed cubers who use gan who still use the 12 despite it being a two-year-old cube now and a 13 haven't having been out for a year okay i didn't just take out these pieces for no reason we are now gonna look uh, under each center to see what's going on here actually let me grab my 13 so you can see the difference oh man that's right 13 was so hard to like open okay nice so 13 on my right 14 on the left not too much that's different here they look very very similar all right that circle-y thing and the gears are a bit small on the left which i guess makes it lighter but also makes it even harder to read so those of you who have no idea what you're looking at like these just look like eyeballs to you that round circle adjusts the spring compression, in this case, the magnetic tension. So you should be able to just turn that around like this. There you go. And the one in the back, that gear-like thing, adjusts center travel. So I should be able to click that along like this as well. There you go. Of course, that's not what you're meant to use. You're meant to use a little fire hydrant guy. That's nice, nice. So on one side, the fire hydrant has these little teeth that can click those gears at the back. Oh, cool. Every six clicks, it does like a louder one. That, that's when it's sort of spin to like as tight as it can. And then it just goes all the way back down. And then 
this. Oh, that's so nice. That just aligns so nicely. Can you see that there? You just That turns that middle one just so easily. The one on the back, I think you're meant to like feel. It's set to one. The spring compression is set to one. Let's see what happens if I change, move that to six. So this is six. This is the at the opposite end. And that is so loose. Six really reduces the compression. And then one is like the tightest that you can get. And this doesn't even feel super tight. Oh my goodness. That is so weird. It's like you want to bring the back of your chair up so you can sit up straight, but like this is as high as it gets and you're like, okay, what's up guys? And let's adjust the center travel in the back. Okay, so that just clicked. So that should also be possibly the loosest setting. Yeah, oh, that is not fun. And the tightest setting for that is one, two, three, four, five, this one. Yeah, that's nice. The problem though, is that I think if you do this on like every single one, it can end up actually getting way too tight. Yeah, now look how tight that is now. That's not even aligning anymore. That's not what we want. What was it set to before? I think by default it was set to three and now it's on five. So one, two, three. So that was default. This is kind of fun. One, two, three, okay. Yeah, okay. This, this is what it was like out of the box. It's a bit loose. Let's go to the next one. <laughs> That's actually feeling really nice. Okay, this sounds so weird to say, but it's now starting to feel a lot like the GAN 12. <laughs> you buy the GAN 14 in hope that it's gonna be this amazing cube, and then you just like tension it so it feels exactly like the 12. Why don't you just buy the 12 in the first place? I'm now gonna have a go uh, at all the magnet strengths uh, to see which one seems to suit me the best. So I'll be back in three, two, one, and it's done. <laughs> and it only took me like one hour. Okay, roughly one hour. I actually just put all the magnetic settings at basically the strongest that I could. Or like near near the strongest. I adjusted like everything away and then all the way back to like default again and it, it was fine. It actually feels kind of good now. Oh, one thing I forgot to say is it's weight. As soon as I took it out of the box, I felt like, okay, this is heavy. Why are you going heavy? And then I realized when I check, it's heavier than the 11 and 12 but it's not heavier than the 13. It's just always funny when companies, and Apple's another one, are like, we made the lightest iPhone yet. And then for the next three years, it gets heavier and they just don't mention it. They're like, oh, it's really amazing. But suddenly it being light is no longer a priority. Um, and Ken is doing the same thing. They're just like sneakily making their cubes heavier and hoping that no one realizes. I realize, okay? So at this point, I think all that's left for us to do is actually use this in a competition. I might actually be able to use it at a comp and not do terribly. All right, we're here at a cube competition and it's time to put the GAN 14 to the test. Let's solve the GAN 14. It's very weird using a cube that turns like even more than I wanted to. It's hard to describe. I don't know if that's a good time because I'm solving well or because it's a nice cube. Curious. It'll be distracted in that one. Mm. The wrong OL for that one. And there it is. First five solves with the 14. Okay, I'll tell you my immediate thoughts. It's it's actually good. It's it's actually good. It actually feels a lot like somehow the GAN that I'm used to and I'm really happy that it went back to this. Oh, it's all up. It's just a bit of a shame that I got distracted towards the end because there was someone like yelling out to me. I think I need to practice more with like you just yelling out to me at home. <laughs> anyway, I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think I actually like the 14. Ta-da! Whoa, that feels really different. That's crazy. It feels like a combination of the 13 and the 12. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. But it's actually like heavier. Yeah, it is. It is too. Yeah, it could be just funny. It could be the adjustable magnets. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's nice. Well, three by three state record um, holder, Toby is mildly impressed with, uh, <laughs> mildly with impressed. The, for the 14. Well, mildly? Mm, moderately. <laughs> moderately impressed. <laughs> Round two of three by three using again 14. Oh, that was so interesting. I don't know what got caught on camera, but like I gave it a little push and then it just like went back on its own. That's the magnets on the inside working, or like working against my move. Like I just didn't push it hard enough and so the, that middle like repulsion magnet was like nope and just like went straight back. It punished me for just giving a little push. Still getting used to it. Look at this. We're drifting at NT. Oh boy. 
I feel like I can't spam moves with this. Like I just need to slow down and be careful. And which maybe is a good thing? I don't know. Bit lucky, but otherwise a nice solve. Final solve. <laughs> Wow, <laughs> that was really interesting. It actually really made me think of what uh, Gan himself or Gan Jiang said, that he wants to create a cube that he likened it to a car that can like self park, that can like auto navigate itself. He wants it to automatically align, almost like turn itself, but without like any motor or like electronic components on the inside. And hats off to him, I think he's achieved it. I think with every iteration of the flagship GAN cube, it gets closer and closer and better and better at that. It's just, is it possible to have too much of a good thing, right? So for my first question, is this a better cube than before? Hands down, yeah, it really is. You can feel it. And if you take the time to um, adjust it to your liking, it's actually really, really good. In my opinion, GAN did not drop the ball with the 14. It's worthy of being called 2023's flagship cube from their company. But then the bigger question, should you buy it? <sighs> On one hand, the answer is really easy. $85, maybe even $90 with a heck of a lot of work that you have to put in to customize it and get it to your liking. And then there's the more you like RS3M 2022 that also has maglev and that is $15. And for most people, that cube is completely fine out of the box. Like you don't have to do all these crazy tensionings or anything. So in that sense, it's a no brainer. Save your money and get something a lot cheaper, but still really great. But I think that's an apples to oranges comparison. I know they're both Rubik's cubes, but they're just totally different brands. I think if you're still watching this video right now, it's because you're interested in GAN cubes and apples to apples comparison would really be more like comparing the 14 to its predecessors. Hot take, I think the 11 is on its way out. And as much as I like it, I have a feeling that's not gonna be producing this for a lot longer. And today I think it's feeling very much like previous generation. So sorry 11, but you're not part of today's comparison. The 12 and the 13, which I have right here, are the ones I think we need to compare with the 14 with their respective price tags. If you're gonna get one of these, which one do you get? I think it's pretty safe to say that out of these three, the 13 is the worst. Sorry, buddy. That is not the one that you should be considering. The 12 and the 14 are the two that you really want to think about. If it comes down to price, it's an easy choice. $70, it's, the price of this is probably going to get lower and lower with time. While this guy is close, close to 99, 90 US dollars. That's a lot of money. But if you're already paying this much money for something two generations better, right? For an extra 15 or $20, I don't know. If you're going that far, you may as well go all the way and get the best thing that's, that's out there. It definitely has better engineering and tech than the 12. And if you're someone who really likes to tinker with settings, it's actually really fun. But I think even more than before, the 14 is a cube that you're gonna wanna try before you buy which is easier said than done because like, how are you gonna find 14 just lying around for you to have a go? Go to competitions, watch more video reviews, talk to other people, see what they think about it. Which all leads to the final question of all, will Ting Man continue to use this? Will I use this in future competitions? Yeah, I think I might. But before I do so, I think I need to put down like I don't know, a thousand or so solves on the 14 just to be sure. I'm just gonna have to use it more before I actually know. But yeah, if you see me at a comp in the future, don't be surprised if I'm rocking the 14. Even if it means Gan be burning those holes in my wallet. I will say though, 5% off with the Tingman discount code at Daily Puzzles. But if that wasn't enough Gan for you, then you want to check out this video where I bought every single GAN cube you can currently buy. See you in the next one.